Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over teachable quizzes and how you can very quickly create them. If you would like to follow along, I will leave my link down below in the description. And if you click that, you can get a teachable free access, or maybe if you already have it, you can log in using that. So all we need to do first and foremost is go to the courses section and the curriculum. You're going to want to make sure you know how to do that first in terms of creating your sections and your lessons. To do this, all you would need to do is add a new lesson. So you can do it in any specific section where it's going to be most appropriate. For this, I'm just going to put it right here. Let's do new lesson. Let's call it a quiz. And since it's a quiz, probably best to do it at the end. I mean, you could do it in the beginning of one. Maybe you talk about, you know, what what do you think? What do you expect to learn in this upcoming lesson? But preferably most time, usually you want to give a quiz after you teach some information. So we have that there. And I'm going to click on the quiz link right here. What we want to do is add content. Of course, you can utilize the comments with the public preview if needed. But let's click on add content. And as you can see, educational tools right here, we're going to click on this quiz button. Right, keep in mind, I have the first paid plan, so I don't have the, the super upgrade where that allows you to use the grading and compliance tools. So this is just going to be the basics of, you know, doing the questions and the answers. So for the first question, allow me to put one in there. So here I just put which statement best represents affiliate marketing. So what we can do is choose single or multiple correct answers. Anyway, so what I want to do here is just add some answers. I won't bore you with me typing that in, so I'll be right back. All right, so here are a few of the answers that I put in. You need 100 certifications in order to be successful. Your mindset, your dedication, and your discipline is what ultimately will make you successful. And you need to have a huge bankroll to get started. So you could add more answers to say like answer four. And if you wanted to do even more, obviously, just go here, you know, answer whatever it is and so on and so forth, but we don't need that many. So I can just do delete there. And of course we can delete this too, if needed. So those are going to be the three and we'd pretty much just do the same thing. Let's just do one more very quick one. Of course, we got to do the correct answer as well. So it's going to be this one. And when you do that, now we can do a new question. So once again, just the same thing, I'm going to very quickly put this in. All right. So how can you be resourceful when getting started as an affiliate? We put join free discussions about it, talk and associate with other successful affiliates and get started with your favorite free traffic source. So here we actually have multiple correct answers. So we can just do done there. That looks good. Let's save quiz. And I think you get the idea, right? That's how you create a question. That's how you add these specific answers that you want to utilize and save quiz. And of course, if you want to record grades for this quiz, that's going to be with the upgraded version. But either way, let's click on publish here. And then let's preview it so I can show you what it looks like. All right, so which statement best represents affiliate marketing? We know the correct answer, but let's do check. Looks good and continue. And of course, how can you be resourceful? We've got all of them. Probably for something like this, if there are multiple answers or just, I would put it in the actual title, say like, you know, click each specific box where you think is right or so on and so forth. And of course we have check, correct, correct, correct. And of course you can always click on complete and continue to actually finish that. But that's the very quick overview when it comes to utilizing Teachable and of course their quizzes. This is a great way to see what your students learned. Unfortunately, this isn't for like these smaller plan, but it would be nice to be able to record grades for this quiz just to see a little bit more information when it comes to that overall. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I hope you got some value out of this video when it comes to creating some teachable quizzes. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.